Well, people living along the north end of the downtown canal are improving safety in their neighborhood. CBS 4's Russ McQuaid has the story on some improvements that are providing some peace of mind. There's a new wall running along the north edge of the Watermark community perpendicular to the east bank of the downtown canal. Neighbors here say it's helped cut down on the noise while IMPD works to reduce violence in the area. Over the course of seven days last summer, two people were shot to death in the neighborhood. During the first couple years it was open, the Colts Playscape was the site of more than a dozen IMPD reports of late night violence, shootouts and robberies. Unfortunately, uh, we did have one uh, a young lady that was uh, actually uh, unfortunately lost her life down here uh, and it was because of that and some other uh, incidents that took place that we increased uh, patrols here on the canal. IMPD added better lighting and surveillance cameras to enhance security. Uh, we've increased the patrols here both on our middle and late shift and particularly on the weekends. Uh, last year we actually uh, got some assistance from uh, DMD. Uh, they were able to hire officers off duty uh, actually on overtime and they worked overnight. They worked 10 at night to 5 in the morning and we saw a major decrease in the amount of incidents that were occurring here on the canal. Once the playscape was zoned a city park, it gave park rangers and IMPD officers more clear-cut guidelines on how to enforce rules and closing hours. As the weather warms up and the sun sets later, the challenge will be on IMPD and the parks rangers to keep the peace in the playscape community so that the watermark neighbors listen to the sound of crickets instead of gunfire from their porches at night. It's great to hear the sound of kids playing. I think it's really allowed us to say what's the right thing to do to make sure these things are used properly so people can enjoy them and enjoy the amenities we have in our city in downtown Indy. Russ McQuaid, CBS4 News.